What's up everyone? Welcome back for more good vibes and video games and I'm ready to jump back into Hogwarts Legacy. It has been a couple days since I've played this. I was kind of under the weather and had a lot of things going on but I am ready to jump back in. I feel like I got to a point with last episode where where do we get to in the story it was we discovered that i believe it's feldcroft it's a little hamlet kind of south of hogwarts where we had to visit with sebastian and learn a little bit about his family we met his sister Anne, but we found out that feldcroft is basically the site of the one town in question that we keep seeing in the pensive memories and it's linked to rackham Isadora Morganak, and I'm sure there's so much more to this that I don't even know yet. So I'm going to be following a lot of the story, I think, going forward. Obviously, going off doing side stuff and exploring things as I would normally do if I was playing the game without recording. But I, I'm very interested in what the story has. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the video today. I do hope you enjoy it. As always, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So with all that being said, I'm ready to jump in. Oh yeah, that's right. So we came to the Undercroft in Feldcroft. Feldcroft, I was right. Feldcroft, Undercroft. That's confusing. Anywho. Meet me near the ruins of Falbottom Castle after dark. Do not tell anyone. I think I know what this is about. Oh, uh, nothing else matters right now. Nothing else matters. Sebastian, I love you, but nothing else matters right now. I have to go talk to Natty. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, kitty. So cute. I remembered this lady as I was going to meet Natty. And I remembered that she needed an invisibility potion. So I just, I went back to the room of requirement really fast and I brewed one for her. So I really am excited to see what she has to say. If only someone would come to me aid. I didn't forget about you, lady. Problem. You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe, but if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. I brewed one just for you. That's how special you are to me. That's how much I care about you, random person. Also noted that I found it interesting that there was a fast travel in this woman's house specifically not outside of it not just off of her property i thought it was interesting that they put a fast travel station in this person's house so and then she's requiring a certain something from you i i'm inclined to believe that there's something potentially significant about this interaction here well as it happens i have what you need here not sure it'll help you, though. Be careful, won't you? Oh, you're a gem, you are. I'll be sure to be very careful. And you be careful, too. No Grim is going to get me. Thanks to you, kind child. I must insist that you accept this small token of me gratitude oh. for your thoughtfulness. Oh, well, I'm very appreciative of your gratitude. Well, thank you so much. Maybe, or I could have just Off been on another adventure, are we? totally wrong and talking out my bum, and uh, that was not significant at all. So uh, we'll find out. I don't know. Maybe, <sighs> maybe she's actually this super evil witch, and she's going to use this invisibility potion to wreak havoc on all of mankind. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. And when did I set my? Oh gosh. Break your little cape. Incendia. Get wrecked. Dead. Hello, Hamora. I will. Protect you! There it is. Go! Be free! It's a Niffler! Oh my god, I want 
one. Oh my gosh. I want one so bad. I don't think you can, because I've tried. I don't think you can capture um, captive, but freed, you know, animals. So that's really sad because I really want one of those. I had to come Hustle. back. Must to have kill been those. quite stately in its time. Oh no way! That's what you have to come to this place for? I've been to this castle so many times because it kept stumping me that I didn't know what it was here for. And I wanted to break in and loot everything, obviously. So, and I kept wondering, because there was an obvious place to get up there, up through there. You would have to, like, lift a box and jump up to scurry up the wall. But, oh my, it's been bothering me for so long. I can't believe this is the site of doing a mission with Natty. Let's go. Where you been hanging out? You just... You just here? Okay. Psst, over here. Quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after Bad. you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Sign me up. Sign me up. I get to get into trouble. Can't we just go straight to the ministry? Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. I wouldn't have even asked that. I don't even know why I asked that question. Frankly, I just want to go in guns blazing or wands blazing. Incendio. <laughs> what are your reasons for going after Rookwood and Harlow? You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. Let's go. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. Nope. I don't go quietly like we've established in many playthroughs. You coming? I mean, as urgent as you made this sound, I am surprised you are walking. Not even jogging. Walking? But I know exactly what to do. I've this this has been the burning question for me since like very early in the game because I discovered this place very early while exploring. It's finally here, but obvious to me now that it needs that Wingardium does. Leviosa. Do I have? Oh, I do. But there's also a fun fact that I don't know if too many people know about. Once you have Wingardium Leviosa unlocked, all you need to do. Perform Accio, and it'll go right into Wingardium Leviosa. I noticed that, I think, either last time I played- I think it was last time I played this, I was like, is this a bug or a glitch or something? No, I just think it's the functionality of it, and honestly, thank you for that. So, I don't even know why you would need Wingardium Leviosa, like, slotted. You could probably free up a slot by not having that, because you really don't need it. But I need to get up this wall. But maybe. Hold on a second. But how do we keep it up in here? Oh, no way. I don't know if you're allowed to do this, but it worked, so I don't care. <laughs> That's awesome. Because, like, when Guardian Leviosa wasn't even. Keeping it up, it was just once... Okay, I don't I don't know. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but... 
I disco- I basically discovered that, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that discovered this, by the way. I'm not taking ownership of this. But I feel like you probably just don't have to have when Guardian Leviosa slotted whatsoever. Just use Accio, then it'll turn into that. And then to keep it levitated, you have to use Leviosa on it, so. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Gotcha. So, we just freed you up some real estate. You're welcome. Um, that works. Let's go over here first, though. Revelio. There's always something hidden. Dead end. Must be another way in. What? I don't know about you, but like, I could. I think we could fit through that. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding me! Oh, man, I gotta go move that box. <laughs> that window was useful. Guess we could probably Accio this. Nice. There we that go. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Revelio. So there's a letter. Okay, hold on. I can't believe I have to write this down, but you moon minds don't listen. Push the gate open. Don't blast it. If I find it blown to pieces again, I swear it'll be the end of you lot. Push, don't blast. Boom. Oh, okay, so we had to, like, push it all the way over. No! I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, crap. We're gonna need to come here again for that lock? Are you joking? Wait, wait, wait. Did I do something wrong? Or do I have to go down below? Oh! Oh! Oh, I see! I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. You give me a lot of credit. Thank God for the glowy things. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. They sound so terrified. Yeah, restrain the face! Yes! This is the quest! Oh! Oh no! High wing. Oh! Do you know that hippogriff? Oh my god, Poppy's gonna be so pissed. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Oh, it's not just any hippogriff. I fear oh, for the poachers, man. Like Poppy is small oh, but mighty. Be another way to get up to the roof, somewhere. Luckily, we know parkour. Rebellion. Why how many hippogriffs you can find down there? My dear. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. I'm sure she will be just fine. So many. Okay, so can't go there. Uh, I can't really tell, but why do I feel like I got a pulse of this? I I don't know how I knew that. Revelia. <laughs> My gamer intuition's actually working today. What's up? Okay. Oh! Hold on a second. I think I see it. Ready? See, watch. You don't even need it. You don't even need it. I think we gotta... Okay, we gotta go up here then. Leviosa! 
Oh, this is Not cool. The safest place to sneak into. Revelio. Oh, son of a. It's fine. Nighty night. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. This is the edge. Slice a poacher duelist. While they're casting Reducto, that's a very specific thing. That I probably won't remember to do. Oh god, that was freaking cool! That was so cool! Stupefy! Confringo! Shoot! And I love how, like, Accio basically Leviosos them as well. It's interesting, because there are certain things that I'm noticing and I'm discovering as I do them more. Like, it's basically two spells in one if you think about it a certain way, or if you try to use it a certain way. Like I just said with Accio, you can you can use it and it basically floats them and then brings them towards you. So you don't need to Levioso them and Accio them. So you could probably free up that space and use something else that's more useful. That was a lot of words. I'm sorry, I just got really passionate about the spells for a second. I'm crazy, I know, it's fine. So like, what could I potentially switch it out for? Actually, let's not, let's not become too hasty here, okay? So... I think Arresto Momentum, like, will make them float as well, but it freezes them. So that's... Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder if you can freeze somebody as they're floating. Anyway. Sorry. Just thinking out loud. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Okay, so we obviously gotta go up there. I just so aggressively bo broke that box trying to loot something. I don't even know my own strength. Uh-huh. Can I? I can't Accio that? That's fine. I'm not salty about it. Natty's having an easier time of it. I can't even get in there? I need to find more of those moon guys. I have found quite a few, I just haven't turned them into him. Revelio. I wish it was automatic. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. So what the heck is the point of coming up here? I was like too lazy to go down the ladder. I was like, maybe I can whip out my broom, but we can just do this instead. Oh! Loki for a second thought her ankle broke. I was like, that's not the noise an ankle's supposed to make. You're going home in a wooden box. Let me outside. What's in the box? Spoiler, me. Excuse me. Oh yes. Sit down. No one puts me in a box. <laughs> now you're going in a box. Six feet under. Boom. Revelio. Okay. Alohomora. I don't know about you, but I feel- I always feel like an aloha moron when I do these puzzles. Oh, there it is! Oh god! Okay, there we go.
Revelio. Oh no, Deke was right. We need to save you from these barbarians. Oh my gosh, we stumbled on the mother load of poaching shenanigans. Delivery. Four jabbernoles, be cautious. Three nasals, cleverer and meaner than they look. Watch the claws. Five giant purple toads, always wear gloves when handling. One thestral. No, you lot can see it. Oh my god, okay. Two hippogriffs? It was question mark, like... Forgot how to count when we got to hippogriffs. Had a lead on where to get a pair. Oh, they haven't got it yet, okay. And then zero phoenixes. Where? <laughs> where though? They spontaneously combust. Good luck with that, okay? Pavelia. Oh my god, nifflers are so damn cute. I I'll take twenty. I'll give them good homes. Okay, so we came in from there. Hmm. Okay, that's confusing. So we can either... Let's just check this door first. Yeah, couldn't let that six gold get left behind. Somebody is doing magic tricks in here. Pulling rabbits out of their hat. Ah. Ooh. Go through. I was gonna say. Oh, another note. Revelio. You know, I don't know if it's a byproduct of getting older and maybe like allowing my interests to mature. But I used to hate reading in video games. Like, if I had to read stuff to get context out of the question but i love it now i i don't know why it's like almost it's like a nice little change of pace like i get why they're here in games now or else it's just too fast paced you know sometimes people need something to allow them to slow down and just be present in the game astrid keep an eye on my stash eh it's yours if i mysteriously disappear that liar cheated us out of what was ours, so I took what I could and hid it here. Twenty damn years and treated no better than fools who've been here two blasted weeks. Manfred. Revelia. What is that hissing sound? Okay, anyway. My wing is all right. There Ooh. we go. <gasps> there you are. Come on. Bow. Bow first. Whoa. Okay. Chills, I haven't heard that yet in this game, I don't think. <gasps> oh my god! I'm never gonna use a broom again, I'm sorry! What broom? Wow! How freaking cool! Must be returning from an unscheduled run! How do I ascend? I can go down, but I can't go... Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Woo! The 
is so cool. Oh shoot, I'm gonna knock it out. <laughs> Look at that view. <laughs> okay, this is so cool. This is the coolest thing. I wonder if anyone can see us from the castle. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I'm not leaving on purpose! My controller became possessed. I don't even know what that was. <gasps> I was gonna see if this I could recreate... In the movie, when Harry's on, um, Bucky. It's incredible, isn't it? And it kind of brushes its knuckle across the water. I was kind of wanting to see if I could re- Oh, you kind of do do that! Oh my god, I just- I'm internally crying. Why is that? Why is that about to make me cry? I don't know. God, I'm so emotional. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> oh, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. I loved that conversation and that whole interaction. It just felt so real. get just any hippogriff i get high wing oh my god oh but i also oh when my you god have a moment please stop by the room of requirement deke tells me he has something to share with you deke you're a loyal girl high wing deke he better picked up after himself he was littering candy all over my floor my nice stone botanical floor um, okay, this is the best day of my life. Um, round 13, because I think I've said that at least 12 or 13 times during this playthrough so far, but this time I actually mean it. Because I... I get... <laughs> I get a mount, but not just any mounts. I got High Wing, I got Caligo, and I also got the Thestral that comes with the Deluxe Edition of the game, so... Day made. Day made? That's all I gotta say. How do I get off of it? Oh! L1. Oh! <gasps> Wait, what? And then and then it shows that there's something to the- So there's my broomstick on the right, and then right across from it is- Is that another mount option? What is that- What does that icon mean? And then directly above it, I have high wing available to me, but how do I switch out- my mount. I thought I could do that in gear. Oh, I can now. Okay, for some reason it was showing locked before, but... Oh my gosh, so... Beautiful black hippogriff. I got a white and a black one, and I got Thestral! I want to see se se Sepulchria? It's like a sepulcher, but... Sepulchria? A tame and gentle female Thestral 
that will allow you to soar through the clouds on her back. Uh, I kind of want, because this came with the deluxe and you know, I, I probably wouldn't have it right now if it weren't for that. I kind of want to, to try this. I want to use Sepulchria. I think that's how you pronounce that name. Okay, so I think to start, let's hop on Sepulchria. How about some sightseeing? Time to go a little quicker. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How do I take flight? Okay. X to take flight. Okay, gotcha. I'm going to go pick up some side missions along the way and then i'm gonna go attend astronomy class but i gotta say really fast this is the coolest oh i'm just really really bad at hitting the, that's fine um <laughs> i'm gonna have to get used to the oh, oh oh you know what you know what uh we're just gonna I, i'm a lost cause there is no saving me it's fine Ooh, shiny oh here's a pleasant surprise oh bloody hell how the Okay, I assume. <laughs> what say we pick up the pace of it? Shut up! Quit chastising me. Me? How do I land this damn thing? I'm so sorry. What the hell? I assumed it would be like riding a broomstick. <laughs> like riding a bike. It's not. It's not. Okay, that's gonna take a bit get getting used to. I'm gonna have to go over the controls for that. Yikes, I apologize for that display. Ooh, okay. Rebellion. Lumos. How in the heck am I supposed to get down there? Safely. Ugh. Oh, okay. So at least you can jump down and not die. Rebellion. Almost had a better vantage point when I was up there. Where where were the other mobs? Damn, this one's a bit harder. They're they're farther away. All right, here goes nothing. Hit a flaming spider to blow it up. Okay. Woo! Did I do it? I did it. Oh gosh. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. That was funny. Oh man, that's beautiful. Lumos. It's what it, what fun that can happen when you actually like think about your combos a little bit. It's funny. Is there an is there another Merlin trial right by here? And the other one is over here. Ah, easy. At least it stays right there. Okay. Got a bit You know what? And I also just had a thought too. Assuming most people can't see Thestrals, are they just watching me fly in the air like, uh... Is she just flying by herself? Like, what is she riding? You know, does anyone not have questions? And that was the worst landing I think I've ever seen. Uh, yep, this is, this is very, very tough for me. We're gonna... Okay, okay. No flying license for me because I will have failed. Ten times over. Oh, hold on. What? Without her. Oh. Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnath. Just Garnath. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. Oh. I can only hope she's able to escape. Poor Biscuit? Why would poachers want your moon calf? What? Well, why would they not want your moon calf if they're poachers? Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. 
Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilising magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. True. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog-skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume... Oh, Biscuit. Oh, poor Biscuit. He makes me so sad. Why do you have a pet moon calf? I'm not even going to ask that question. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. How kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. That does make do me keep sad an eye out goblins. for her. Oh, and be careful Jesus. out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. Oh, I'm aware. I should try and rescue Garnoth's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. We have to rescue this poor helpless moon calf first and foremost. I'm glad I don't have an Oh, also, oh my gosh, look at all the Halloween decorations. Have I been, I don't even know if I've really been in the castle too much since fall started. I'm definitely gonna have to go back to the castle. Ooh, here we are. Poachers, Garnif was right then. I'd better be careful. Oh god, I, I landed in the wrong spot. Okay. Getting a little bit better with the mounts. Alright. Revelia. As if you could we had plans for that immigrant you stole. Oh, it was you, alright. Gonna show you what's up. Get Oh, we got an anime guess, huh? <coughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, you bum. Oh, I see you, I see you. Oh, nice try! Oh, you bum. <laughs> Oh no, you don't! Nice try again. Ooh, that was really close. Done. No, you're doing a lot of smack talking for a lot of dying, yeah? Ooh, very nice. Oh, right. Nice! Beast around here can sleep a bit easier now. Good. Okay. We got him. Um. Revelio. What is in here? Ooh! <gasps> oh, the babies! Aloha, Mora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Oh my god, I didn't realize there were so many different ones. Wait, how do I- how am I supposed to find this out? Oh, uh, Biscuit, hi. Oh, does that mean I'm gonna have to switch out one of my wheels for... Let's do... Instead of Wooden Guardian Levios, like we went over earlier. You don't really need it. Which one? Do I have to capture all of them? Biscuit? Which one's Biscuit? Oh no you don't. Where are you going? No! Son of a... Come here! No! Come here! How am I supposed to do this? Oh wait! I'm a ding dong. Let me also. Oh come here. And this is probably where I should... Here, come on. No, no, no. There we go. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Cool, but what about... Oh, there's a pure white one! Alright, let's do this. You're so cute! You're coming home with me to... Please don't be Biscuit. I want to keep this one. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Do I have to, like, 
try to capture every single one? Incendio! <gasps> oh! Oh! I didn't mean to do that! I didn't mean to do that! <gasps> oh my god! <sighs> Forgive me! <gasps> Let me answer. Who's who's sneezing? Is, are they sneezing? All right, Biscuit. Let's get you back to Garnath, shall we? Garnath, I've rescued Biscuit. You have. Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Well, I'm I'm okay. Got attacked by some dug bogs and stuff, but you know, I also rescued like several of the moon calves in the process and tried to, to incinerate them. But we won't talk about that. We're both fine. Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. Sure should be glad to be home. I'd like to be compensated for my efforts. No need. She's safe with me. No! I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. No, keep it. Well I don't need it. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. It's the least I could do. That makes me happy. You have restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. We don't all suck. Have a good day. All right. Sometimes um, it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. They they really do. They really do. Or at least all my roads lead to Hogsmeade because I constantly need to sell stuff. Which, speaking of... Don't be shy. I'm also coming in here to change my hair again. I love the braid, but I also had to share this. This made me laugh so hard. There was a comment on a, on a video where I had my my character's hair done to that like low ponytail flip that I really really like. <laughs> there was a comment that had me laughing for literally ten minutes. It was like that's giving jo <laughs> that's giving too much George Washington, and maybe it's not that funny. But oh my god, I was like rolling. I was dying. It was so funny. So whoever wrote that comment. I can't remember who it was right now, but thank you. You made my whole, I was crying laughing so hard. It's giving George Washington. What is it you might be interested in? So now I'll just show you what the hairstyle was. Um, I can, I will never see this hairstyle the same way again. For me, it was giving Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Okay, but now it's giving only George Washington vibes. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, but I, you know what? It's been a long time since I've had like the long hairstyle. So I want to go back to the OG hairstyle. Okay. I think it goes really well with that, my outfit. And I shall hope to see you soon. Okay, bye now. Um, hi. This is... The coolest thing. Okay, well, we already know. I'm about to go back to class right now or go back to the castle. So we have to dress for the occasion. Um, yeah, I, I will be looking all sporty and stuff because now we got... Because, <gasps> you know, it, if if this was me, okay, if I'm being on... If this was me, I'd either be in theater or be on a sports team. So like, oh my good God. Hold on, I want to see what this looks like too. Nah, too, um, too, like, corduroy for, for this kind of vibe. This does give good vibes, too, like, with the, the house and everything, but wasn't there a, a specific, like, Hufflepuff pride cloak? Hmm. Like, it has, like, I thought there was supposed to be a cool one that had, like, a badger on the back or something like that. One for my house specifically. I don't see it? Doesn't mean I don't have it. I mean, that does look kind of cool, but oh my god. I gotta look like the captain of the Quidditch team. 
How cool is that? Oh my goodness. All right, let's go back to the castle. Okay, so I wanted to get these. Hi, cat. If I could have a moment of your time. She sounded like Moaning Myrtle there for a split second. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. Okay, that's kind of cool. She sounds fascinating. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well-known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? Uh, no, because I'm keeping it. You you had me an outfit. What did her... her do what did she... What did, what did they do? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting Depulso? She once saved orphans from a wild graphhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. Whenever somebody says Stonehenge, I immediately think of the movie whose name I forgot right now. Spinal Tap! Spinal Tap! If... Sorry to break your immersion right now, but if you have never seen Spinal Tap and if you like things about bands, I mean, it's, it's like a fake band, or if you love mockumentaries, highly recommend Spinal Tap. What happened to Herodiana? I think I pronounced it right that time. What ended up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while, just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. I'll see what I can if do. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. Oh. I'm doing I can't it. I wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Uh, an outfit? Right? Right? Suppose We're I should outfit? look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. Dude. It does sound interesting. Maybe Happy I'll do it after the main quest, but there is another side quest that I wanted to go pick up that I saw on the map. Oh, right. It's in the room of requirement. Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. I would like to talk with Deke. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Oh. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Is Tom Nook expanding? Is that a new wall that I now have to fix? What is this? What is this place? I've oh. never seen this. Oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. As Deke was saying, he's had a thought. I get it. Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed, knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It oh, is. Yeah. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Okay, I'll find Tobbs. If it helps me, I suppose I could check. Oh, wait, what? 
I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Hobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. I will. Do I have to put a specific... Find the cave, something about an enchantment, or something from the loom. I kind of missed what he said about that. But I'm gonna rescue him anyway. I have to see what this is. This is so... Also, it kind of looks like... It kind of looks like a like a carriage, almost. Like, I kind of feel like Cinderella in here. Um... Hold on, can I transfigure this to make it look different? Because I want to see how this... Is that supposed to, like, match the aesthetic? Jump's Hold cage. on a second. Priorities. Let's do this one really fast. Yeah, what's up with that? Okay, botanical, and then... There we go. Ply and hold to... Wait, wait, wait. I want to apply and apply to all walls and bookshelves. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Now it matches. What is that? It, okay, so that changed all of this. Beautiful. This is scientific. So that has to be changed as well. Change color. Ooh, wait a second. Did I forget to change the color for the other archways? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter now, because there we go. Anything else? I'm going to have to redecorate up here. Oh my lord. Wait, I'm going to make sure. Okay, that looks that looks all fantastic. Do I need this to identify? This will be more useful when I have something to identify. True. All right, let's go in here. What? Oh, wait. Since there were some chests in the vivarium, I wonder if there'll be more chests that you can find in here that'll give you more stuff that you can use to build. Oh, yes, here we are. Low arch, so it's more building stuff. Can I? Would this, would this kill me? <gasps> oh, okay. Well, I, you know what? There's one way to find out, and I found out. Vivellia. I effed around, and I found out. Okay, let's go. Oh, I didn't even see this cave for a second. <sighs> Duh. Oh, yeah, that's a chest right there, isn't it? Yup. Chests are gonna be here. I think there was three in the vivarium. So maybe there's a third chest in here as well. Oh, I knew it. There is a third one. I had a feeling, but I almost overlooked this. I almost left. It's not that it was telling me to come over here, and I'm really glad I did. But wait a sec. Probably have to use this to get up there. Yup. Yup. Ooh, I wonder what this is gonna be. Tall pillar. So now I can build like little homes and stuff. I think in here. Alright, let's go. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Look at me and my sporty fit. Love it. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Ooh. Astronomy is such a cool class. 
still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. <laughs> Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, oh, no, bring it in to focus on your own. Finally, I get to officially meet and talk to this character. Oh my gosh. I love space. I love anything to do with space. There is nothing more mystifying. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing There's hours word, right? outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor... It's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Dismissed. Hello! Mm. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Thank you. How kind. I can't take your telescope. Yes, we can. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've Ooh. heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. No. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I. Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh. Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, okay. Go back to your reading. Find a meat telescope in the storage area. All right, let's do that. Oh, good, that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's bring gloves next time. Tough love. Woo! Setting the astronomy tower on fire. This might be what was dinging. Sweet. All right. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. He is a buff. <sighs> a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. True. I'm gonna talk to her more. Professor Shaw. I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. And it you. is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Yes. I notice you dismiss divination. Why? Ooh, good Am drama. Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical ah. practice of astrology. Do ah. not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Ooh, the tea is hot. You know, that's so interesting. At, from a neutral standpoint, I find both sides very, very, very interesting. I don't dismiss really anything because I think all of it is really, really cool, regardless if you subscribe or believe in it or not. I I know people that are both. They're like very, very sciencey, And then there's people that definitely believe in astrology and Listening to both sides, like in everything that they have to talk about and offer, is really fascinating. I never claim to subscribe or, or necessarily believe concretely in any in anything. I just I love hearing about it. I love 
like just taking it all in. I find it all so incredibly fascinating. There is nothing more fascinating than I think the study of the stars and things outside of our little blue bubble here, our little rock. Uh, just there's so much we don't know, and I think that's so fun and fascinating. This 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 class or like divination, the both of them, even though she's saying that they kind of go against each other or they don't really match up, those two would probably be my favorite classes to attend at Hogwarts. Hands down. What are astronomy tables, though? You mentioned yeah. astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. I love, I love her. She's just, she's, she's so intelligent. I love her. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. St oh, oh, and she loves puns. Marry me, Stellar. I'm stealing that. I'm stealing that. That's mine now. It's mine. The perfect night for. Oh, hello again. Hello. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um,. Something else? Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Ooh, cool. And you like help finding it, so the telescope came with a catch. <laughs> it shouldn't come with a catch if people do not inform you of the catch before you carry out whatever they want you to do. Just saying. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, <laughs> they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Cool. Cool. Sounds exciting. I'm in. <laughs> no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Ooh, cool. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Is that a Onwards page? Go, some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Sorry, Amit. Ah. I knew it! I knew it! Eyes of a hawk. Except for, like, every other time where I have selective sight and I overlook even the simplest of tutorial hints. It's fine. It's like I, oh, I had a feeling. Okay. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Look at us, we have so many friends it's now. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Now I finally have my chance to be the popular sportsy person that I always wanted to be growing up. Dreams do come true now. Bevelia. A little Ooh. foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students <laughs> decades ago were, who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. <laughs> okay. Even the pursuit of knowledge, if it gets in the way of, like, personal... Hygiene and responsibilities. 
it is still a problem too. Tidy, it interferes with I your expected. daily life. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, find the astronomy table. Revelia. Are we supposed to do something with these boxes? I assume so. <gasps> oh, I know what that is. It's like um, an must be an maybe it's an astronomy table. Now I finally know what those things are. Ah. Oh rip. Oh, that's how we got to the other door. I see now. Revelia. Oh, those had me stumped for a while. Spiders? Oh yeah, get ready. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Probably. Oh no, not this close to the school, Emmett. I think you should be on it. Go on, try it out. Oh, I was planning on it. The constellation should oh. appear near the center of your view. I do see it. So do I have to like turn it? As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Oh, I think I get it. Oh, no. Is there a way I can turn it faster? Oh, so I have to line it up exactly with the corresponding dots. I see. Oh, that's fun. All right. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I look forward to that. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. All beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. More and if stuff? I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's Thank quite you. generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. <laughs> it's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. <sighs> what a great word. Gobbledygook. Cool. Find astronomy tables. More challenges. Lovely. Pavelia. All right. Oh, never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet Ooh. me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that <gasps> and our next steps? So many things just opened up to me and I, I was not prepared. <gasps> That's a beautiful shot of the castle right here. Walking through that with all the windows. And you got the Merlin windows right there too. Cool. What if he sticks like this? What? Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours, I think. You think? It didn't before. That other boy was like it for a week. A week? I, I don't uh, feel well. Oh, stop fretting. We'll have you with Nurse Blaney in no time. <gasps> I've just realized. What? What is it? I have an essay I need to finish for bins. Oh, Ten no. Inches. Man, and so oh, I haven't no. done mine either. Uh, what? Don't leave me here. Did you memorize the dates of magical discoveries and goblin rebellion? <laughs> they don't yet, even no. care. Where are you going? You can't leave me here. You'll be fine. I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> Billy Wigsting, you'll be a week like that. <laughs> this is why you don't trust Slytherins. This is it. Oh. Proof. I'm just kidding, but that was so fun. Dude, you need new friends. Oh. <gasps> Oh, wow. I ha yes, I haven't been through mo most of the castle since since the fall started, but look how cool this is. 
Oh, how fun and immersive. Right, Potions all peace. Is dull and charms is dire. Nothing's as clever as play with fire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know how to do this. This is Depulso, I think. So we're doing the Hero <laughs> Diana, Diana <laughs> one. I'm here. Okay. Oh, I'm doing it with the wrong one. Nice. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure I said to Pulso too, but my brain's like, no, we're gonna do Accio. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Okay. Here it is. The Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Revelio. Hope we get a really cool outfit from this. I hope I'm not just psyching myself up. I want to see if Herodiana Burn is as good as Sophonia said she was. Oh, I didn't sign up for puzzles. Oh God, my brain's gonna hurt. Oh, what the hell? What, what? Yeah. What the heck do I do with this? Okay, well, maybe. <gasps> that scared the absolute out of me. Oh, wow. So, like, I got it. Don't stand. Oh, okay. Maybe I get it. Maybe I'm getting it. Okay. Ooh, I got a new scarf. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Now that I know how to change my appearance. Okay. Sure, so there's that. So... Oh, okay. Rebellion. What is this? Why is this glowing? Why? Something will work. I don't see how that is supposed to work. I don't understand these this puzzle. I'm just gonna keep going. That chest looks interesting. That wasn't too hard. I wonder what's next. Oh! Can I put it on? Let me check after this. I don't understand what that thing is for. Confringo. I was like, maybe I gotta set it on fire. Yeah, I don't- I'm not really sure what those are for. Um... Oh, jeez. I'm afraid to Accio this again. Ah, yes. oh, shoot! Like, I thought maybe, like, the light patterns had something to do with that. I don't exactly know. Holy, though. I did it again! I have this innate talent to just like destroy myself. Oh man. How do I do this? Is there like an area again where I can loot something? How in the heck though? Maybe? Back here. Oh, okay, so I can like kind of stand off to the. Oh, I got it. Oh, gee, I, crap. I, I accioed when I should have depulsoed. Oh. This is why you always change your weapon wheel. Wow, okay. Third time's the charm, I think. Oh, God, no. Chill, chill, chill. That is. 
What? What? Wait a sec. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap, what did I do? Oi, oi. What did I just do? Okay, maybe this will work. At this- Ooh, wait! Oh, I get it now, but... I still don't get it. So, like, is it... Do you gotta do something so that you can... Grab onto it or something? not totally sure, to be honest. Sorry if there's something in there and, and I'm walking right past it, but I, I've tried everything. I've even touched it, right? I've even touched it. But, I, and it's clearly something important. But I, I, I couldn't tell you what it was for. I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Just one Ooh, collect oh, collection updated! Wait a sec! Hold on, I want to go in and see the, the collection. I'll just wait till the end of this Rebellion. for it. Alright, so there's this. How am I gonna get up there? Now that I know you can stand off to the side. Get the same effect without dying. Wait a second, so will that- does that mean that- Hold on. Okay. Sure. Alright, so that can't get... How am I supposed to... Can I? Let me open. Didn't think so. Hmm. Kind of feels like old school Tomb Raider to me. Like these boxes remind me of the boxes that you could push around in, in the like PlayStation One Tomb Raiders. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Oh god, it disappeared. Oh god, what did I do? I broke it. Oh, I bloody broke it. Oh my god, I don't. I'm so confused. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm. My brain is overwhelmed. And I no longer care. Oh, great. So apparently, it can go through those boxes. But now I can't get through. How did I get through this? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't like this quest. I don't like this quest anymore. I don't understand. I don't know what to do. And now I'm trapped and I'm really scared and lonely and sad. Mostly sad. I don't understand what's happening. Okay. Oh, thank God physics doesn't exist in this game. With all due respect, I don't I don't care about this quest anymore. I just want to get it done. Because <laughs> I am so confused. Isn't it supposed to, like, I don't know, stop there? But it doesn't want to stop there. It doesn't. Nope. I have never been stumped before in a in a in a quest like this in a very 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 long time. Cuz I don't know if if it's meant to be buggy or, or if it's like doing this on I have no clue. One eternity later. Okay, so I actually had to do a little bit of Google searching cuz just something about this quest didn't feel right, and I think I was correct. It is bugged for me. I think the last room is supposed to completely open up for you, but it obviously has not. So I think I found a fix to kind of reset everything, hopefully. Pray for me. Oh, wait a second. Okay. See? My room, the first time I did this, did not look like this, so I I genuinely think it was a bug. That's the only explanation. Oh my god, because I was sitting there thinking I was, well, I am bad at puzzles, but I mean, that, like, just completely destroyed my self-esteem. 
I will have you know, but I, I'm glad to know that I'm not crazy and it was actually the game. Okay, so now we can try a fresh start. I think I already unlocked that though. I should, yeah, it's already unlocked. Cause yeah, this, oh my goodness, this got me. This absolutely got me. And you know what? Frankly, I don't know what these are for. I don't know what those things are for. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I care. <laughs> Um, at this point. I just want to be done with this quest. Universe, I swear I will never ask for another thing ever again. I will never bother you. Ever again. Ah, uh, oh, I was gonna try to, like, jump on it. Okay. Oh, or, I mean, it's gotta work. <laughs> okay, so maybe I can... Ah, oh, okay. Oh my goodness, I can't. I, I'm absolutely stumped by this quest. I can't, like, I cannot figure this out. You see, the switch reset everything. Good to know. Oh, what? Ho! Okay. 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 Oh, that's what's okay. Oh my god, you had to hit it with a basic attack spell and it would be. I'm so ready to be done with this quest. You have no. You have no idea. None. Oh, sweet Jesus. I think I found it. Oh my god, I... Mm, mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Yup. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely fine. Okay, well, we got this far. We got this far. Yep. Um... This is a toughie. Oh! I, I'm now putting the puzzle pieces together. I am now understanding. I am getting it now. Oh, this has been a trial. This has been a trial. Wow. Wow. That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana Burn after all. I don't mean to be I don't mean to be rude, but this is without a doubt the worst quest. But I'm also biased because I mean, to be fair, the first go around was extremely bugged and I, it wasn't intuitive for me to like hit these things with just a basic attack spell. And there was really no other like indication of what you had to do for that. So that's my reasoning for not understanding what those things were. But I, I, I do think I'm a little biased with my dislike for this puzzle and this quest line because yes, it was bugged. So in all fairness, it's not fair for me to judge on that. Okay, do I wish it would have been perfect out the gate? Yes, but I understand it's, it's, it is what it is. But then, like, I think that threw off everything. Like, the fact that it was bugged and because of that, all of, like, logic was jumbled in my head. It's fine. We did it. It's, it's okay. That wasn't too hard. I wonder what's next. With all due respect, shut up, Miranda Lorian. Hogwarts student of witchcraft and wizardry, virtual person. You didn't... You have no idea what that put me through. None. I am so happy. This is the greatest, this, this is the greatest day of my life because I overcame that BS. But you know what? I had fun. It was all, all for the sake of entertainment. I hope my struggle helps you. Oh, I got a bone to pick with you, you absolute tater tot. You send me on a chase of goose. What the heck? That's the cutest cat I've ever seen. All is well. The world is fine now. I'm over it. I have been healed. 
I love those cats. I don't know what they're called, but I love them. But... Did you Sophonia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Thanks Incredible. to YouTube. Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? No. No. Yes. Yes, and because I am petty wise the mother flippin' clown, you ain't getting this for free. Of course, but not for free. That wasn't easy. Of course, of course, I'd pay anything. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. I don't want to hear it. I don't, I don't want to hear it. You're my second favorite hero. I'm your number one favorite hero. Number one. There is no second to the crap that I just had to go through for that. That was, that was 30 minutes of my life I won't ever get back because I thought it was me. I thought it was a me problem. Oh my god, I was sitting there starting to get like self-esteem problems. I was like sweating and stuff. I was like, oh my god. I need to go take a chill pill after that and just go, go lay down. Go do something. Go zen out for a second. Go meditate and build a bridge and get over it. Oh, I feel like I kind of know where this is going. I feel like I look like Link. Hero Dania's attire. I was like, I was expecting white. That's why it was throwing me off. And then is there like a hat that goes along with it? Oh, here we go. Yup, totally look like Link. <laughs> I kind of love it. Um, I, even with the hat, even with the hat, it does still show off my hair. Peter Pan, Link, Robin Hood. Take your pick. I look like it all, and I love it. But I do think I'm going to take the hat off for now. Is it a cool outfit? Yes. Was it worth the mental gymnastics I had to do? Yeah. You know, you know, I, I see it. I'm proud. The, the obstacle that I had to overcome for this, the amount of knowledge and patience I had to learn is invaluable. Why Why am I even upset about- I shouldn't even be upset about this. It, I found the fix. That's all that matters. Yes, I am pep-talking myself. And no, I don't want to hear about it in the comments. But definitely think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this roller coaster of an episode. We started off real strong. We got our mounts, finally. I realized I had no idea how to drive these mounts and that was a struggle and a half then we visited my favorite class which is astronomy which is one of the most fascinating subjects on planet earth we helped out the general public we did some good deeds and then the wildest thing happened we discovered a bug a game breaking quest destroying mind bending bug and it drove me crazy but against all the odds we persevered. There is a tutorial for everything. Thank God for the year 2023 and the technological advancements we have made at this point in human history. Because without YouTube today, I don't know if this episode would have ever had a ending to it. And I think we all know, as much as I love making videos, I do eventually want them to end. And if I didn't finish that, it was going to absolutely drive me nuts for the rest of the day. But we overcame even the toughest challenges. Even when all hope seemed lost, we found happiness even in the darkest of times. We just had to remember to turn on the light. I think a wise wizard once said that. Anyway, all jokes aside, I just create humor when I'm coping, so I hope you enjoyed that. This was definitely one of my favorite episodes, though, all things considered. We finally got our mount, and that is all I care about. And we got a pretty sweet outfit. If you guys are looking forward to the next shit show, I mean episode, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell button. But you already know what to do because I've probably said it a thousand times on this channel already. Sorry, I'm now in a mood and I'm going to record another episode. So prepare for that next time. Have a magical rest of your day and I'll see you next time.